Hey, Sneaky Links back just for a real quick one for tonight before it's bedtime. Okay, as I said in the video earlier, death of unity. Well, it's not going to be a death really, is it? Because some people are going to fork it. So it will always be around in some shape or form. But say you want to stay with Ubuntu and you want to know different flavours. So I thought I'd done a quick one just to show you. Okay. This is the official list, okay? So Ed Ubuntu, Ubuntu Gnome, which they're going to go to anyway. Not my personal preference. Kubuntu. Ubuntu Kailin for China. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. And some others. So we're going to go through them with you. Okay. First one here. Ed Ubuntu. Okay. I like Ed Ubuntu. The trouble is it's such a large DVD. Okay. And it won't run on older hardware. Because it is really for educational purposes. And it's just not up to the job. So you really need to do something there really. Maybe change down to LXDE for a desktop or something like that. Next, Ubuntu Gnome. I don't like Gnome, so I won't really talk about it too much. But as Canonical, I'm going to go with that anyway. Enough said. Okay. Next one for you KDE lovers is Kubuntu. Okay. A lot of you really do like this. I don't like it personally. It's all right, but it just takes up too much of my time, to be honest with you. Okay, next, Ubuntu Kailin, the Chinese version. Okay. Now, if you remember, Quid's done a video quite a while back, and he said about, well, does it send anything back to the developers? Well, we weren't too sure. So I'll probably say yes, it does. So, unless you really like it and you're not really worried about anything, don't use it really. Small machines, old machines, really old machines. Lubuntu is the one to go for. Bearing in mind there was a little problem with Flash the other day. Was it Flash? No, it wasn't. Because out of the box, Lubuntu uses Elsa, not Pulse. You couldn't hear videos from YouTube. I think that's now been fixed. Don't quote me on it. Okay. With Buntu, I didn't even think it was being developed anymore. This is for your TV stuff. Okay. And it is still in development, as you can see. Right up to 17.04. Super duper. Ubuntu Studio, I do like, but it's a bit of a learning curve of it because it comes with all art stuff and music stuff and stuff like that. If you want to give it a go, Try it for a week. It may not suit your case. You may just want to get a vanilla flavour as Ubuntu or Ubuntu and add your own stuff. My personal favourite, as you can see, is Ubuntu. I've been using it for donkey's years. It does what I want. It does 32 and 64-bit. Bearing in mind, they will be going to 64-bit only very soon on all the Ubuntus. Okay. Mm. Now, Ubuntu Mate. It's not Mate. It's Mate. That is how it's spelt. Okay. We invented the English language. Yeah, I win. Bye. Right, this is what I wish the Canonical had gone with <clears throat> when they decided not to continue Unity. But it is a really, really new desktop, and it's getting better and better all the time, and I'm sure Ike wouldn't have minded if they used it as a main desktop. Really? Now, there is quite a lot of derivatives as well. So if we scroll down, there's some ones that are not even recognised anymore. Ubuntu, JOS, I remember that one. There's the recognised ones. Formal ones, Gobuntu. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. Some mobile ones, they didn't come out of the things, did they really? No. They got some customizations. Guadalinux for Spain. Uh, Linspire. What a load of rubbish. Christy Ubuntu. We won't get into uh, religion, okay. The Ubuntu Mini Remix, which is a live CD, so you can build your own. That's what it says, basically. And the Rescue CD. Don't really need that, do we, really? We've got other stuff for doing that. Okay. I can scroll down more. As you can see, there's loads here. Mepis has gone back to Debian, as quite a lot of other ones have done. Okay. Sharp Linux. Never heard of that one. Okay. Scroll down, scroll down. There's so many here, look, can you see? So many here. And this contact list is here for stuff they want to contact. Okay. But there you are. That's it. That's what I can show you. I'm going to close them tabs. That's it. There is lots of other stuff you can use if you want to stay with Ubuntu-based distributions. Hey, but why not give something else a go, just in case? Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.